Listen closely. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are fucking blind. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your fucking ass I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, its racially charged background, its inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception, we must now work towards finding the solution. And if you are an influencer or a celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. On behalf of Breonna Taylor, we must change. On behalf of Ahmed Aubrey, we must advance. And on behalf of George Floyd and the hundreds of others who have been unjustly murdered in this country, we must evolve.